All right, female coach. Hey, Billy Buttkiss. Uh, thoughts on the Cardinals hiring a female coach? I hear she can take a hit. Think she's got what it takes, or is it a publicity stunt? What does that mean, take a hit? Uh, I think it's football. I had no idea that they did it. You didn't read about this? I, I no, I tapped out on the I news heard. during during Hillary Clinton, Bruce Jenner, and somewhere around there. I just, I, I just, I've been too busy to watch anything on the news. I heard that there was a woman that was hired to be an NFL coach, but I don't, you know, I don't follow football, so um, that seems like a very big deal. Why? Because they've never had a female coach before. Yes, but how is that like? How is that going to? Uh affect wins and losses it probably won't i probably won't matter yeah, what gender you are it's you like have to a be a quota good coach. thing yeah yeah but it's it's still like um it's never been done before so it's historical right yes it is it so is historical we have let to we have yet to learn any lessons if any just yet but it's a big deal that it's happening it's a publicity stunt it's not a publicity stunt. i'm not saying she's not qualified but this is what the nfl is a corporation and every quarter they have to have a a show a game that's just how a corporation works and they're trying to make more money so they have reached every possible fucking football fan all right they did that years ago so then they started bringing in people like britney spears to sing during the super bowl just trying to get people hooked on it and then they wear pink for a whole fucking month now they're getting in with trying to get in with the ladies. They're trying to get more. It's just it's I think it's a business move hmm. that's going to be disguised as uh, forward thinking. I'm not saying she's bad and not qualified or anything, but I just think that that's why they're going to do that. Um, I don't give a shit. I don't have to. I, I don't give a fuck if, she, if she's good and they win that. I think it's a good move. If uh, she stinks, uh, unfortunately, uh, all the other women behind her will be judged. So I imagine she has a lot of pressure. It's just weird when you go into the locker room. You know what I mean? Everybody's standing there with their dicks out and shit. You know what I mean? Now they got to cover up. <laughs> it's weird. Uh, you'd rather they just be able to stand around with their dicks out and not have to worry about covering up? Well, I mean, I don't think, like, the, does the male coach walk into the female's locker room? Is they sitting there taking off their sports bras? Probably not. They go, look, we got to get out there in the second half. And yeah. shave your clamp. <laughs> Slowing it down. <laughs> probably, probably not. They Definitely probably not. With them afterward. Definitely not. Not in the lot. So she probably does the same thing. Definitely not. She's yeah. not in there like talking to them. Like there's no way. No, but you can, But then that then that hurts her as a coach. That she can't go in there when they're standing there with their dicks out. Because she's How got, does that hurt her as a coach? Because they go in and they discuss strategy during halftime. You go into the locker room to talk about that. Are they naked during halftime? No, but after the game, you talk about the next week and oh. that type of shit. But if somebody got hurt, they, it's a locker room. Somebody's got their dick out. It just <laughs> happens. Somebody's got to take a shit at halftime. It fucking happens. I guess that's what I was wondering. Do you have to be naked just because you're in the locker room? Yeah, and this is what's going to happen. This is what's going to all the adjustment. They're just going to keep adjusting it. Okay. Yeah, and then a guy can't have his dick out in a fucking <laughs> men's locker room. Oh, the injustice of it all. You see what I'm saying, though? You guys just keep encroaching, 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 and then we always have to adjust to you. You guys do not adjust to us. Well, it's, I if you're walking into a men's locker room, if, there's going to be a dick out. You're going to have to either fucking deal with it okay, or um, you have somebody go in there and take some notes. I'm sure she's prepared <laughs> to deal with any dicks that are out. I'm sure. I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh God! I don't guys, think she needs to worry. You guys, about you know, you guys are obsessed out. with us. Well, yeah, yeah, okay. You're obsessed with keeping your dick out in the locker room. So what no. does that say about you? No, I'm saying you guys are obsessed with us. Yeah, we're totally obsessed with you guys. Yeah. Why can't you guys just start your own shit and fucking go do that? We'll start a start car company. Why? Like, do you, why do you guys always have to come? It's a men's football league. <laughs> if there was a woman's football league, I wouldn't give a fuck. I gotta get in there, <laughs> stand next to some clams, and discuss strategy. I'd let you have your fucking deal. Absence <laughs> makes the heart grow fonder. In the most loving way ever. Fuck off. <laughs> Can you fuck off for three hours on a Sunday? Can we just have a minute? Jesus Christ. The shit that's said in a locker room, then they're going to get offended. 
They, I love it. I love that the NFL is doing this. They, I guarantee there's going to be some, something fucked up happens. There's going to be a lawsuit. Didn't that happen years ago? It happened in Boston, right? The fucking the woman went in there, and these guys acted like fucking immature idiots. And then there was a lawsuit. And then she had to go to New York. It was a fun. The guy had to sell the team. It was nuts. I don't know. I don't know. I told I'm you talking I about football. dicks being out in <laughs> locker rooms. <laughs> yeah, nothing good, You're very bad can happen about, about that. Yeah, Jesus Christ, Nia, I'm uncomfortable in a fucking locker room. I go to the goddamn gym. You fucking go in there, okay? <laughs> You're staring at your eyelids. <laughs> but eventually you're going to walk by somebody taller than you. <laughs> it's going to be hanging down. You're in a men's locker room. You're going to see a dick. It just happens. But I was going to say, men don't like talk to each other like naked in the locker room. So the other day I went to the standing always, there. There's always like, that's the crazy. naked guy. There's oh, always there? the naked Well, this is not, there's also a generational thing okay. as far as being comfortable being naked around another man in a locker room. Oh, like the old guys don't care. They right? don't give a yeah. fuck. Yeah. They do. They grew up in the Little Rascals era. They, they like the parents' bedroom, and then all the kids slept in the same fucking bed <laughs> with a dog and like a fucking Wolverine, right? <laughs> then you had my generation. I was one of the last generations that in gym class, the guy's gym class, you went in and when you showered, it was just this communal fucking shower and you just went in there like a bunch of cattle. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. And just, no stalls or anything. Everyone was just in just like went the in center. there. And there's, I, there's a bunch of like shower heads all around. Yeah. But no stalls. So and that's, no privacy. And, that's, and that started in sixth grade. And I remember. I've the, never the, been the in, the a, first in a week. locker like that. Yeah. Locker the, room like that. The first week of gym class. Only like six kids had the fucking balls, no pun intended, to take the shower. And they went in the shower and it was wide open. Like all the lockers were all the way around it, mm -hmm. the school I went to. So you could, like they walked in that dude and me and like, there was like six other guys. We were laughing like hysterically. <laughs> These are kids I knew all the way through grade school and they came walking by butt ass naked. And that's the thing about a naked guy. It's either the funniest thing ever are absolutely terrifying, <laughs> just spending, depending <laughs> on the situation. And it was fucking hilarious. But after like two, three weeks, it was normal. And no one gave a shit. And we were part of the last like generation. And we thought it was like when we, I remember we heard like the women's gym, they, they had their own little private showers, which was weird to me. You'd think the guys would be fucking more weirded out. We were actually more advanced than you guys. More mature. We could all shower together and be <laughs> after yeah, the first week and know. be mature. I don't know if that's what that really means. What does it mean? That, that we're you guys all, are all animals. That you know, you're all animals. They just throw you in there and hose you down. I know. That's really what it was. <laughs> Get in there, you fucking animals. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, so there's this there's different levels of uh like generational you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That guys will just like old guys don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck. And then there's the weird guy who also doesn't give a fuck. You don't know what he's doing. That guy, you come walking in, right? The gym I go to, like you can see, like you come walking in, the lockers are to the right. And then straight ahead is like the sink area mm -hmm. with the mirror and shit. And like, you know, I walked in there one time and there was a guy standing there completely naked except <laughs> flip flop shaving. <laughs> And I just, I walked in, I just, and I just went, really? He can't fucking just throw a towel on? <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> I'm just saying. Dicks be out in, in the locker, locker room. room. All right.